things just keep on happening every single day that I have at least two, three topics a day that I can select from. So today I have selected to talk about something that has been interesting me lately, which is games journalism. I have several videos on that topic that I can make. But today specifically, we're going to be talking about what the hell even counts as a journalist? Because there has recently been an event. The event was that a guy named Jed Whitaker took down really old tweets of Sophia's and is taking down any videos showing his own live stream to people. Why? Because these tweets and these talkings about him show him in a bad light. He essentially did it himself. He did a parody stream. A parody. I, I don't know how much of a parody it was, but essentially the clip was about seven minutes long and he was saying such obscenities during his Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare playthrough that if I was to repeat what he said, I would get demonetized right now. If I was to show you what he said, I would get DMCA'd. So instead, I am linking you to his video in the description down below if you want to see it for yourself. It's one of the mirrors that people have uploaded. But essentially, he mentioned a lot of very adult subjects. He was being very racist and misogynistic. And December 5th, he got called out about that. And that was the specific statement of if anyone else said any one of these things as a media outlet or as a streamer or as a YouTuber, they would get cancelled off the internet, but apparently it doesn't count when it's one of the left media doing it themselves. That was all that was said, and that was on December 5th, 2019. And I actually suppose what happened is he hadn't had work for a very long time, so he needed to create some... Let's just say, um, media rumble about himself to be visible again. That That's... That's my prediction as to what happened, hence why half a year later he decided to start going around and taking down people referencing his own live stream. So, Jed Whittaker, the guy who shoved up a Joy-Con up his butt for Vice, DMCA'd my account. And yes, he indeed did that. Nintendo Switch's Joy-Con sync issue is even worse if you put it in your butt. This is... This is the state of games journalism. This is the current state of games journalism, but in order to make this video, I wanted to investigate what kind of person Jed Bittaker is, and I got very confused as to what is called a journalist. In fact, by their definition of journalist, I could call myself a journalist, and I find that slightly disturbing. Because, quite simply, he is freelance. He is freelance, so nobody is hiring him. Nobody has him hired currently. This is all of the reviews that he has done. The last one was November 19th, 2019. He did 199 games reviews. If you go to his LinkedIn, he has went to university for tech rather than a university for journalism. I went to university for tech as well. I studied computer and video games. I mostly did programming, that's what I specialize in. I specialize in programming. He did something similar. He didn't even... I don't think that he mentions the exact course, but considering that he was working in IT, I am gonna assume that he went to university for IT, and even says not currently seeking IT work for salary under $100,000. So yes, I think it's safe to say that he didn't go to university for games journalism. His journalist career includes a lot of sites that have been shut down. Him being an editor for some unrelated sites like Machinima Video Editor. Um, and for his journalistic contributions, majority of it is freelance, meaning he's submitting almost like guest articles, and they just happen to get published from time to time. And once again, he hasn't submitted a new 
actual like review or anything like that since November 2019. I used to work as software developer. I quit work in 2018 because my health was declining. I don't call myself a software developer. I currently define myself as an unemployed housewife. Apparently, I could have said that I am a freelance software developer that just happened to not have any work for the past two years to make myself look and feel better. And according to his contributions, 199 games reviewed. Well, Jed Whittaker, the only difference between us is the fact that I don't get published. Um, I have 59 video games reviewed so far. Do I call myself a games journalist? Because if I go through his social media, his subscriber count is only a thousand that above mine. That is not uber impressive. That's fairly small. He probably... Actually, Jed Whittaker, how long ago did you start your YouTube? I was gonna say that he probably started it far... Um... Far, early, far later than me, because I don't expect other people to have channels my size. No, he started before me. He actually started two years before me. And all he has is like 6,000 subs, which means that he did about as well as I did. Um, I'm not calling myself a games journalist. He is. His Twitter only has 2,000 followers, which is, yeah, a lot more than me, but... That's not an impressive amount of followers. I went to his Discord, he has three members. His Discord has not been used for the past two years. Majority of what he does nowadays, and the way that he supports is by streaming. He is doing streaming. Uh, let's just click off that, because YouTube might say that I'm propagating violence if I accidentally show the tweets that he retweeted. Majority of what he does is streaming. He's a Twitch partner. Chad, you are a streamer. You're not a journalist. It's as simple as that. Majority of what you do right now encompasses streaming. And majority of your income, judging from how dead your social media is, is probably also coming from streaming. Why do we even call this guy a games journalist? He's an unemployed freelancer. He's an unemployed freelancer that is currently copy striking people's channels. That's just what it is. That's that's what's been the most confusing for me. Like these people call themselves journalists, but then you go and investigate them and they have no background to actually justify that. They're not any more of a journalist than I am a journalist, and I've never called myself a journalist. So I suppose out of this whole thing, one thing that I figured out is that I could actually legitimately call myself a journalist, and nobody would question that. That's the weird thing. So, yes, Jed Whittaker, I suppose... Success, we're now talking about you, and the fact that, um... You said a lot of really bad stuff over half a year ago and are now DMCAing everyone that has ever tweeted about this or made a video about this. You you can't really DMCA this by the way, you're you're free to try, but I used zero percent of that content. I'm just linking it in the description. So color me confused. Color Murta really confused as to what we consider games journalists and as to why these people are given a platform or given a voice and why what they do with that platform involve shoving joysticks up their bottoms. That's that's probably the most confusing bit of all. If if anyone wants to give me a platform, I promise not to shove joysticks up my bottoms. I would just do what I do here. Um, c consider that an advertisement for myself, I suppose. But yes, um, thank you for watching. You now know what has happened. I don't need to explain to you more than show these tweets. And um, yeah, Judd Bittaker is seeking attention. That's the news.